Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial episode. I am going to, well, what? Yeah, um, let's, let's go ahead and check on that first. What I'm going to teach you today is how to import object files into Cubic Studio, and then you can use them as models or create models with them. This object file and some object files come with their own texture. So as you can kind of see, I can zoom into it. Um, where it kind of goes through the model, but it came with its own texture. I didn't do that texture, it just it just did it itself. So, it's pretty freaking cool, and I just kind of kind of thought I'd show you that. It's a pumpkin, so I just kind of brought, you know, Optimus Prime here into Minecraft. He's kind of up to scale, to be honest. I mean, I think that's probably how big he would possibly look, um, hopefully. Uh, made it into a pumpkin, so if I was invisible, I guess I could run around and kind of battle as Optimus Prime or something like that. There would really be no way to see me because I mean I'm in F5 right now and you really can't see me. You can't see the top of this model. So, you definitely would make it one way to get a little smaller or something like that. A little more derpy if you were going to, you know, really do some battle bot stuff. Or maybe make it so, you know, the player's floating in the air. And then you can do some, I don't know, some pretty, pretty neat things. I know you can animate these things a lot easier with Optifine and you could end up animating this also. But, I don't know, just uh, want to show you guys how to throw this into Minecraft or get it going with Cubic Studio. I will say that this is a really, really laggy model due to the amount of elements that it has, even though I did go in Atlas mode, and I'll explain some of that when I jump into this. But the one that we're going to make um, in this tutorial is going to be um, a little bit reduced. That one's like 93 or 96 for the voxel count. We're going to go a little lower just so that this tutorial kind of like, I don't know, flies right through and has no issues at all. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you need to create this is you can just Google, honestly, object files, like different object files you need. So if you wanted a triangle, for instance, you couldn't find a triangle. I honestly think that's in the primitive master pack that Captain Galaxy made. So you can look on the Cubic Studio forums for that. There is also links on noblox.me. And yeah, so that's a really good resource for some object files that you can use. And they allow you to just paint on top of the textures. I use those because I like those better than actually, like I really don't prefer doing an import like this. Like if you are making something specific, you know that maybe you need a specific game asset for, or like for instance, this Optimus Prime. I mean, there's no reason not to do it in a way, but then again, it's gonna be really laggy because it's not really made specifically for Minecraft. Like it's just, it's a little heavy on the voxels or the element count. Anyway, what I did is I just typed in Optimus Prime and then I put OBJ at the end of it. When you put OBJ at the end of it, pretty much it's gonna return an object file inside of the search terms inside of Google. So I just clicked on the second link here and all credit goes to this guy for making the actual model file itself, or the object file, so uh, YSUP. It was made five years ago, actually, and I just downloaded this object file, and it came with a zip file, and inside this .zip file, there is actually, like, an object file, which is down here at the bottom, and, well, that's actually Optimus as a van, but there's Optimus Prime inside here also, and then there is a material file that's something like this, or similar, I guess it's actually this, and that wraps all around the object file that you'll download. So, let's go ahead and say we downloaded that, yada yada, or we downloaded our object file. I'm gonna go ahead and actually X out of Minecraft for this, and then I'm gonna open up Cubic Studio. So we're gonna go to File, and then Open, and then I have the Optimus right here, and I'm gonna look for the object file, which right here, it's this one right here. There are other object files in here, but this is specifically the one I want. So as I said, this is gonna import it with the texture. Some object files come with the texture, some don't. So this one comes with the texture. And then what I'm gonna do is just resize it really quick. This is just like a guesstimation, so you can pick out your resize your object files how you want. Honestly, this is just kind of showing you how to do it. So, go ahead and rotate it, because I like to keep my things facing this way, it's just kind of personal preference. And then I'm going to go and go to mesh, because it actually is a mesh, object files are, are meshes, and then I'm going to convert it to voxels. And like I said, I'm going to keep this a little bit smaller. If you go up to 128, it's just going to be a really, really laggy model, like regardless, um, to be honest, it's just going to be pretty, pretty intense. Um, and then you can go down the grid. I tried 90 for that one and it took quite a while to do. And for this tutorial, just because I'm gonna do 64, I feel like that's gonna be a happy medium. 
and I'm not going to make the inside empty. And the reason why is because I'm going to do Atlas mode and I think it's going to be easier for it to make almonds if I don't make it empty on the inside. It may or may not be the case for you. You can kind of, you know, play with that inside or outside, kind of how you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and click convert. It is going to take a minute depending on your PC. This might even take a while to be honest. Like I said, it is at 90 earlier and I even tried 128. 128 was just not possible for me to actually export the final model. Um, and then, yeah. So as you can see, import of the textures and everything, which is just oh so amazing, obviously. I'm gonna go to my previews right now and go ahead and adjust this. It's just gonna be a lot easier to adjust it now rather than when it is actually um, the elements. Elements can tend to make it a little bit laggy, so. If your model is finally, you might as well go into these views, to be honest, and then go ahead and adjust your views first. Go ahead and put them on the floor. Let's make sure the GUI was made. Wall, I didn't put on export settings. Um, we'll do the head last. Looks good like that. Let's go ahead and copy that. And it looks alright like that. And go ahead and copy that. And like so, we'll save the head for last. I'm just gonna 180 this. I know, if I made it the other way, I wouldn't have to 180 it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make him four as far as the height. Or as far as the scale. Just so he's like really, really big. I can make him smaller, I guess. So maybe he fits more, more on top of the player a little better. So if I was to be invisible, I guess, he would look a little better. Let's go ahead and do that just for this one. Not sure exactly where that bottom's at, but I'm hoping it's kind of lined up. It's kind of guessing in there. Now I'm going to go back to my voxels now that I got all my previews and everything all set up. Uh, just because I kind of got OCD and I'm not sure if this converted everything perfectly, and I know this model is the same on both sides. I, or, yeah, the model actually yeah, is the same on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and cut it, or copy half of it, and then paste this half onto the other side. And that's just so that I make sure that it literally has the exact same opposite side that it needs to have. I'm sure it probably did a pretty good conversion, but go into voxels, go into blueprint, and that's why I put the blueprint around it, and I'm gonna copy the voxels. And then I can see that this is the middle. Boom, it's lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the voxels on that side, and then go ahead and paste the voxels in, and then I'm gonna rotate those voxels on the X axis. Boom. Then just make sure that everything is symmetrical on both sides, and then when it converts it to elements, it's gonna have a lot better job doing that just because everything is completely like OCD. Um, yeah. It's just something to kind of try to make it as optimized as I can with as much um, detail as possible. So now that I'm in voxels, I'm going to go ahead and go to convert to elements. I'm going to use Atlas. I believe palette would be the worst for this scenario because of the um, amount of detail and stuff that's going on here. Atlas is going to just be better for your frames per second just regardless. So I really just suggest Atlas. You can do palette and I know you can't do cubes because of the um, voxel count that we did. But palette or Atlas, your choice. I'm choosing Atlas. Go ahead and let that convert and it's going to take a minute um the higher you put on the voxel count the longer it's going to take and i'm telling you sometimes it takes a hot 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 minute but everything we did there by making both sides symmetrical and stuff like that i guarantee you that helped a lot with the conversion of this right now so i do suggest doing that if your model is the same on both sides if it's not the same on both sides you know, and you're making one half totally different, then obviously you can't really do that. But the best bet is to try to make it symmetrical if possible. Or one half um, symmetrical to the other side. Mirrored, essentially.
not sure if I should pause the video or not, but I kind of want to let you see exactly honestly how long the conversion can possibly take. And I have had Cubic kind of say that it was not responding on me, but then if I waited a little bit, it did respond to me. There is a lot going on, like to be honest, that it's converting. And that's another reason why you may want to like reduce the amount of detail that you do on the model itself, like as far as the conversion. It kind of depends on your computer, and a little bit, I think, depends, to be honest, on Cubic and the way it is deciding to wrap the textures and create the elements. Bam! And it's done. I'm gonna go into my element now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on texture and delete it. Something I'm gonna do, just so this isn't so laggy, um, I'm gonna move all these 3D previews to the side. I've noticed that if I move the 3D previews to the side, uh, Cubic tends to be a little bit more responsive for me. Right there, you can see it just lagged out a little bit for a second. Yeah, there we go. Now I can delete the texture, and I can right click, rename. I'm gonna rename this to texture. It's just kind of OCD I got going there. I'm gonna save the texture. This will, we're just gonna save it Optimus and I'm gonna overwrite my other Optimus Prime one that I made. I'm gonna go back into that texture, go ahead and put it into the texture, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the particle as the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and optimize this. This again is going to take quite a minute and then I'm going to call it after, which is right over here in the corner. And then I'm just going to export it and see how it looks in game. So pretty much the next couple things I'm going to do are just optimization and then the exporting it to a JSON file. And I'm going to name it a pumpkin. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I hope this explained it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in game after all the optimization is done. Now we're just going to export this into the items folder. And like I said, we're going to name it a pumpkin. So I'm going to override the pumpkin that I did have. Um, if you did like your model, then I suggest um, saving it as whatever you want to save it as. So I don't know, save it as tutorial or whatever you need. I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this. Do you want to save the changes to keep your model? No, I do not. Sorry. And then we're gonna open up Minecraft. So long as everything exported properly, we should end up seeing the new model that we just created. So you'll see it a little bit smaller and a little less detail. Oh, oh, there it is. And yeah, looking a lot better. I can already feel by walking around this one that it's a lot better um, as, far as, as far as lag. And yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys something, something neat. I just thought it was neat, a little neat. Um, well, yeah, I just thought it was actually, honestly, I didn't really think, it, like, it's neat to be able to show, like, all these things, but really I thought it would be a neat way to showcase how to import um, object files. So, that was invisible. Now you can actually see me and I'll be running around and kind of looking like Optimus Prime. So that would be pretty neat, I guess. I guess I could probably just get on the Potion of Invisibility. Let's not do that many minutes. And voila. All right. I know a few of you guys asked uh, how to import object files and then somebody ended up showing me a pretty beastly model they made and it was i don't know imported or not imported they made a really beastly model it, it wasn't a, it wasn't optimus prime for sure but i don't know give me the idea of how to actually perform a decent tutorial for you guys on how to import object files so i don't know hope you guys have fun with this and it doesn't just have to be um 
it can be any object file. So it doesn't it, it can be transformer, it can be like I said, a triangle, it can be you know anything anything you can think of or you can find on the internet. Like if you have some advanced kind of shape that you want to look up, like a hexagon, pure milligram, whatever whatever I don't even know if that's a thing, but you can look that up and if it is a shape, I'm sure there's probably somebody who's made maybe an object file of that shape. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not all of them are textured, but hope this goes to show, you know, at least if it wasn't textured, I mean, then I could just color it with cubic and do kind of the same thing. So you get the gist. Peace out, guys, and have a, a good one.